Everybody, regardless of handicap, should be fit for a golf ball. So the golf ball, we, we love to say, golf ball is the only piece of equipment you're going to hit on every shot, right? Finding out what golf ball is best for you and then playing it consistently is hugely important for every golfer, regardless of their the handicap. Big, big. We learn a lot through a conversation with the player. We're going to learn a lot by watching the hits and shots and, and looking at the data. But first, tell me a little bit about your game. You know, it's important to understand your game and like what types of shots do you like to play? So inconsistency is the hallmark of my game, which okay. I'm sure is is what you hear a lot. Absolutely. So I miss a lot of greens. In fact, I'll go I'll go rounds where I only hit one or two greens. Okay. And so I rely heavily on my on my wedge game. So what's your typical ball flight like? On a well-struck shot, what does your ball flight look like? I'm generally high launch, high spin with okay. most clubs. So, okay. I mean, the driver I'm playing is an eight and a half. How about what golf ball do you play? Right now I'm in the uh, Bridgestone uh, Tour BX. Okay. <laughs> I, I made the decision based on, on the results of our ball test. So I yep. looked at that and I was like, I, I like the little bit of extra distance off the tee. And sure. I, I typically generate enough spin around the green. So yep. losing a little bit there. Anything with that ball that you don't like or that you like firm. to see improve? Okay. It's firm. That's okay. that's really my only complaint. And okay. even that, like I, I've come to appreciate the sound it makes on a driver when I hit it sure. perfectly. But yeah, it's a little firmer than I've played in the past okay. for sure. What we're going to do here today is focus strictly on Titleist products and make a recommendation in terms of which Titleist golf ball is best for you. But we always encourage players to go out with whatever they've come into their fitting with, Bridgestone, TaylorMade, whatever it may be, and go out and test our recommended ball versus whatever they're playing on the golf course using the green to tee fitting philosophy. Uh, really to do a fair side-by-side -side comparison to see which one's going to help them score better. All right? Yeah. All right, let's get into it. <clears throat> So what do we so grab set? whatever wedge you'd hit 50 or 60 yards. Yeah, probably. I like to start every fitting with Pro V1. Um, so you know how our lineup is set up. Yep. So our fitting philosophy is start at the green, work back to the tee. The vast majority of every player's shots are gonna take place around the green and on their approach shots into the green. It's what we call the scoring shots. We wanna make sure we're fitting players into a golf ball that's gonna optimize their performance on those shots. We I just jumped. I don't know if that was me or the ball, but... How do you fit a golf ball for an inconsistent golfer? Sorry. Yeah, so when we go through this, every golfer miss hits shots. You know, even PGA Tour players do. But, you know, for the 15, 18 handicap, what we are looking at is a well-struck shot, right? We want to make sure the ball's flying through the window. You want to see it fly through. And basically, you're getting the result that you think you deserve. There's nothing worse than hitting a well-struck shot and then not getting the result you think you deserve. Best case scenario. We, we obviously want to minimize the misses, um, but really the fitting is focused on those well-struck shots to make sure you're getting the performance you need when you hit the ball well. Cool. Launching through a pretty good window here, right? You're a little bit, like you were describing, you're a little bit on the higher side of launch. The spin number's a little concerning, right? Like if we could do something there to kind of optimize that, we could hopefully- Swing better. <laughs> we could swing better, uh, but we're gonna play around with the golf ball a little bit to see if we can optimize that spin number, get you a little bit more consistent flight. So we're gonna do something a little different than we do with the wedge shot there. We're gonna have you hit some AVX just to see what the numbers look like there. But generally speaking, these numbers look pretty good. Uh, but let's go ahead, let's test with AVX and see what it looks like. So off the driver, you're gonna see, you, you'll be able to identify differences in terms of flight, but in terms of spin and overall distance, very, very similar from model to model. We're never gonna make a golf ball change based on what we're seeing with the driver. We will change based on what we see with the irons and the wedges, but it's never gonna be based on the driver. We'll tweak the driver if we need to at the end of the fitting uh, in order to get you to optimize launch conditions with the driver. Make sense? Yeah. Based on what we saw today, I think Pro V1, all the feedback you gave and the data we saw is likely the best option for you in terms of our stock golf balls. Now, we also tested with Pro V1 X Left Dash. Of the models that we tested, I think this best suits your game. We're able to get that window that we like, remove some of that spin that was hurting your iron game. And, and maintain the stopping power that you're getting with it, kind of optimizing your launch conditions with that golf ball. Why isn't something like that in the lineup? Is it just because it's a 5% product? It's like 5%, yeah. The, I mean, the TS4 a, of golf balls? Yeah, yeah I think that that's a, that's a pretty good comparison. We were able to demonstrate performance differences today between Pro V1, Pro V1 X, and AVX. So golfers that are out there where you reach in their ball pocket and you come out with a half dozen golf balls, different models, different brands, they're doing themselves a huge disservice there, right? 
all of those golf balls are designed to do something different. And like we talked about earlier, when you hit a shot well, you want to get the result you think you deserve there. You know, whether it is one of our high performance options or you're going to ultimately decide, you know, Tour Soft, Velocity or DT True Soft is right for you. We always say, do yourself a favor and clean the rest of the junk out of your ball pocket, load it up with one model, and then at least you know how that golf ball is going to react when you hit shot. Are there guys out there who you say, hey, yeah, you should maybe play a two-piece ball? Like, is there a two-piece player? So if someone comes to us at one of our fitting events and says, I'm concerned about playing my best, you know, uh, whatever my handicap is, my goal is to shoot lower scores, I want to play my best, that conversation with them and the fitting experience that we take them through is going to revolve around Pro V1, Pro V1X, and AVX only. Um, it's the golfers that come to us and say, yeah, I, I care about my game. I, I want to play better, um, but I have certain preferences that factor into the golf ball that I'm ultimately going to select. You know, is it the price of the golf ball? Is it the color of the golf ball? Um, things like that, uh, where we'd start to say, okay, you know, let's look at the rest of our line. Let's look at Torso, Velocity, and DT True Soft. And they go, well, if players come to us and say, I have a real preference for a soft feeling golf ball, right? And they'll prioritize that above everything else. Even if we're gonna show them, hey, look, you can you can achieve significantly better performance with a different golf ball. But if someone comes and says, you know, for whatever reason, I just feel more comfortable with the softest available golf ball that you have. And, you know, we'll talk to them about DT True Soft and, and let them go out and test that. Question, one word answer, is soft slow. <laughs> slower. <laughs> How about that? <laughs>